Hello all and welcome. Uh, this is going to be a new series uh, on how to casually quote-unquote speedrun the Elden Ring item and enemy randomizer. Uh, as much as I do like the regular runs of Elden Ring, I find that uh, or doing challenges. Being able to play randomizers is for sure probably my more my preferred means of experiencing Elden Ring. Uh, just to kind of cover over the settings, it's going to be 50% bias on this, so you need all seven group runes to access the final boss. I'm going to do this voice. Kind of get a character set up. Uh, I've turned off the gargoyle tick damage, and... I have also uh, made it so that all map fragments are unlocked at the beginning. I've made it so that uh, you can unlock all crafting recipes and that basically is to make non-somber weapons viable because they basically aren't uh, in a randomizer run. I've made it so that it's one smithing stone per upgrade level. So you still need a lot more smithing stones, but they are pretty common. Um, so obviously once you've created your character, you choose your class. Um, I don't know if the Vulgar Militia Saw does bleed damage, but that's an option. Bleed is very nice to have. Oh, this does bleed. Whips are pretty fun, but I'm not so sure. Astrologer. This is okay. Oh boy. Okay. Actually a, a black knife. It's going to be pretty handy. Um, but I, I don't know if it's my preferred. Uh, claws. I, man, I, I'm not as familiar with it, with all these weapons do damage. This does do bleed damage. Okay, we have some weapons. There are options here. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. In general, though, melee stats are going to be a good thing to go for because you're going to need them anyways. You don't want to waste stats. As much as you can change a little bit of your build after you've started, it is a waste of stats, and sometimes you can be a little tight on them. Uh, which... Rejection, Flaming, Grant Me Strength. That's not bad for... I'm kind of tempted to go with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vulgar Militia Saw is a halberd, so... I like that. You don't always have a guarantee of how many golden seeds you'll get, so I'm going to go with this. Um, you can get good amounts, but it's no guarantee. Um, obviously, the crown I'm probably going to remove once I get started. And yeah, the goal here is to highlight essentially key item locations and what I consider to be a pretty optimal route. There's going to be some wiggle room in here. Um, obviously, something that I am not... I don't have the highest amount of skill. So in some areas where an actual speedrunner could just power through, I will have to essentially just make do. It does. Perfect. Okay. It's not the best bleed weapon, but um, it's something. Let's see if this is a boss that's worth fighting. Oh. What is this? Oh! It's Gary. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that did not take long. It should be noted, I want to say this up front, is that uh, I've changed some of the enemies as well so that the dra dragons don't spawn. Uh, the enemies, uh, well, dragons don't spawn if they're replacing regular enemies because some are not bosses, um, because it causes game crashes more frequently. Now, what I want to say up front is that game crashes can still happen, so. It's my aim in this to 
at least tie enough episodes together that they have a clear start and end, but they will be individual videos because uh, my editing software is pretty not good. So I'm just uploading raw video files. And I wanted to include the full route that I try to take. There will be obviously some variations, but especially in the early game, which is unfortunately the more boring area. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever had a black plate kindred at this part of the game. I hope his aggro range isn't too large. He's got a big... Okay. Yeah, he's got a large aggro range. He's still looking at me. I don't like that. I, I don't like that. It's actually kind of scary. Um... But yes, the beginning of the game route is essentially almost always the same. You and I can also that you're not Ned White. I am Carly. I'll receive their bell bearing. Ooh, white mask. Uh, you will want the crafting kit at some point. There's some okay stuff in here. Goodbye. But yeah, I'm hoping to keep the crashes low. This is actually the second attempt at recording this. I screwed up. The first because I changed some settings and apparently it straight up just oh, stink. But it straight up uh Oh, it's the look one. Oh no. Oh. Please don't. Please don't. But I screwed up some settings. Essentially, I didn't re-randomize the enemies, but I re-randomized the items. So I picked up the second type of one item I'd already grabbed, and I was like, oh, I don't want that. Which is kind of a shame, because I was actually doing fairly well in that run, but... I was just like, ah, it's gonna bother me too much if this isn't legit. Oh, okay. Oh, you're... tanky. back the volume a little bit on this here. Hopefully I didn't screw it up, but you couldn't hear me. Have you heard of the finger they yes. serve for you? Blah, blah, I can blah, 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 blah. To, aid you to the foot. Then it summoned me. Ah, I bequeath. You it will some torrent treat him with. But yeah, the general route will be kind of similar to uh, a normal speedrun route, uh, at least at the beginning. Um, with, or at least I should say the casual speedrun route, I initially last time. Not necessarily always super worth it to, yeah, to grab those items, but sometimes it can help. Now, this is one of the items that is not randomized. Well, the item that is paired in this chest is, but... The whetstone knife is always here. Which is handy because if you ever... Yeah, it's a golden rune. Um, if you ever need to apply Ashes of War, it's good to go too. But generally, my tips for just progressing along the route from point A to B is that you can grab items along the way. Um, generally, these taller white items like these are ones you do want to grab. They're not always great. In fact, most of the time they're not, but sometimes they can be weapons and 
good weapons, like uh, the Great Sword. The Guts Great Sword is a tall white item, for instance. Uh, that's not something you want to miss. Now, those trees are key locations. Um, so any areas with sacred tears or golden seeds, bosses, and merchants. Uh, the Not all merchants, but the um, traveling merchants are all key points. Which means I think they can have essential items or key items. Um, including the seven great runes that we need. Oh, my goodness. Yo, actually. I was actually saying uh, before um, Roderica has honestly never given me anything good, and that's probably the best thing I've gotten from Roderica. I can even use it. That's something. Wait, can I use it? I don't, have a, don't think I have the strength. Maybe I can two-hand it. Oh. Don't want anything to do with that guy. Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. And there's good items. There's purples there. We gotta try for it. Um. I don't have a lot of money, so that kind of works out in my favor. Maybe we can be sneaky. Not for long. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Yes, play nice. Oh. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Gotta have the jukes. Um, that was a little frightening. Yeah, rune bearers. Obviously, when they pop up, not so fun. I'm gonna rest in case he's still chasing me. Now this is one area too where. As you can see, there's an invisible boss right here. It doesn't spawn unless you've talked to him already and rested, I think. Let's see what you have. Ooh. Now, I mean, none of this stuff... Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Fortunately. I suppose I have no choice then. Is this what Grace would have? As you can see, I don't know what you said. Oh. Kind of thrown off with the heavy strength, high poise kind of weapons. So now he should be auto aggro, right? Yep, here he is. Oh, let me, let me. Spinning slash, actually kind of useful, at least against. Sees. Oh, that's not good. Oh, well. Yeah, also, we're kind of low level, so. I think you can two shot me. It's nice to have the bleed. What is he?
We want his bell bearing, essentially, is what. Has. I don't know necessarily if we'll have issues where we might need that, but should we need to respec at any point, the carry and night sword is pretty nice um, because it doesn't take too much of a change of build in my experience. Like I've had to switch from a melee build to a uh, semi magic build. Oh, yeah, the enemies. But really outside of the, on the stuff on the way to the, to where you're going, it's not super worth it to to grab things, I would say. Like, you don't want to go into caves or caverns or stuff. I mean, you can. Um, at that point, you're just going to be losing time. Ow. Ow, please don't. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh... Good armor. Please stop. Love when Torrent doesn't spawn. It's kind of sloppy. What? I have not seen that happen before. Probably gonna go ahead and skip Alexander because it's low odds that he has anything good. And it takes more time, and I've already wasted time. But the merchants will be your bread and butter for items, essentially. If, especially for good weapons. Um, they're not... They're essentially just a treasure trove of a bunch of random items that... Frequently can be quite good and valuable. And these key items also include things like talisman pouches, um, you know, the tailoring tools, more sacred tiers. Um, I mean, obviously, tailoring tools, not essential. As you'll see, the plants are randomized, the pickups are randomized as well. I think maybe something in the settings changed. I, I don't know if I really see smithing stones in the overworld now. I mean, I've played a number of these, the majority of which I played long after my first playthrough, but I remember on my first playthroughs you could just like ride around and pick up smithing stones off the ground. Um, like they would spawn like plants and yeah. In general too, these coffin areas are gold mines for items, or they can be. Not always guaranteed by any means, like a lot of them. With the bias, essentially, it means that these early areas are not going to have great weapons. Man, we have bleed weapon options for, for days. These early sections are not necessarily going to have great items. Um, the later game sections are more likely to. But there may be good items in the early game, it's just not as likely. Essentially, is what the bias, 50% bias means. Um, I think 100% bias is completely random. 0% bias is, uh, you know, things are more strictly adhering to the like level and area, uh, while still being randomized. Uh, apparently, 50% leads to interesting pathing. Uh, I find frequently that you can get to uh, Moguin pretty early because the pure blood Knight knight's metal happens at infrequent times and it can be super helpful and sometimes be the only way to progress um, just to kill whatever replaces a moog even though you're like level 30 um, or 40 you know uh, you just gotta pray that it's an easy boss and so far fingers crossed it always has been whenever i picked up the pure blood knight's metal it's always been something like malekith or Renala, or uh, honestly one of the worst was uh well, Red Wolf is pretty bad, pretty tough, and uh, 
Who else? Who else is pretty hard? Loretta is actually pretty bad. No. When she has a lot of resistance. Now we're coming this way because there's a few key item locations. There's obviously the sacred tree. Um, interesting tarnish for finger. There's the sacred tree. The uh, sacred tree, the phantom tree. With the golden seed. There's a few items over here um, that are just easy to pick up. There's a merchant, and, oh, hey. Gotta love halberds. And the Dectus half chest, which is also a key location. Essentially, this early game part will probably consist of me riding to here and to Kaelid uh, before deciding what the next course of action is. That's good. We got a, a few good things in this one. Um, the room is actually quite strong. It's not my preferred weapon for this, but I know in a pinch it does work. Although we already have, in my opinion, better weapons. I've actually never used this particular halberd, but... but especially in the early game I find that vigor is the main thing you're gonna invest in don't really I don't tend to commit to weapons um, or a particular build in the early game because it's uh well you might find something while we're getting the full tree sentinel set um, you might find something that's better You're gonna have some of the same enemies. Oh, blood dog. Uh, what is that? Is that just. Oh, hey. Oh, boy. These guys are super annoying. Man, this stuff is actually, I mean, I know this scaling is kind of off, but... Obviously you don't need to kill all these enemies necessarily, but... Sometimes they drop stuff, like the Great Shield, I'm surprised I got that Great Shield. It's one of my... One I actually kind of like. I haven't really been using shields all that much recently. Um, they are fun if you get a good guard counter build. But yeah, so nothing particularly super valuable here. I hear electricity. Oh, there's one of those electricity bulbs in the ceiling. Sacred tears are nice. They're not completely useless, but definitely not the best item they could have gotten there. Again, there's going to be some bias, so things like great runes are not going to be as likely to happen, be present in 
the early grain, early game key item locations. Um, but it seems pretty common for them to be in late areas. Um, Noxtella, for some reason, seems like a pretty common area where they have that one golden tree that seems to regularly have a great room. Some of the items tend to have very common locations with this setting. It seems like... Oh. It seems like... The... Sorry, I'm a little distracted. It seems like the Academy Glintstone Key is very, very frequent, like with Loretta, or what replaces Loretta in uh, Carrier Manor. Which is fine. Oh, a worm face. Is that the. That's the big, real big worm face. Okay. Eleonora's. I know it's. It, it's a niche weapon, in my opinion. Although we do have White Mask, and it's something to keep in mind if we run into maybe an early game Loretta, or not Loretta, uh, Millennia. Oh boy. Oh yes, I forgot. Man, that thing is very creepy when it's walking along only partially. Are you kidding? Whoa. Ow. It's coming back to me how terrifying some of some enemies are in this. Um, so yeah, general route because there's going to be a number of item locations. Uh, weeping because it has two merchants, has two churches, and it has two golden trees. We're going to forego Castle Morn because, again, due to the bias, it's pretty rare that there's a key item in Castle Morn. Oh yeah, and you don't have to worry about the ballista. Man, they're just a lot of rune bearers. I mean, these ones are not aggro because they're replacing dead enemies. Um, I think if you hit them, they become aggro. But I'm not going to mess around with that if I don't have to. I can see. Non aggro. And then. Now aggro. Yep. I'll do it with that enemy, not with the room bear. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a giant here. It's a... Oh, legendary. Hello. Okay. It's a good talisman. Not like exceptional by any means, but it's not useless. We'll probably find better ones along the way. Oh, I miss. Well, I miss charging it up properly. Oh, Rotten Battle Hammer. I'm actually getting some good, pretty solid weapons, in my opinion. I mean, I say that, I've never actually used the Rotten Battle Hammer. It's a, I mean, I know it's viable. Let me hit this merchant. Let's see if he has anything immediately useful. Not particularly. Retro Shield Talisman. It's kind of expensive. Honestly, Control Shield is better, I would say, for obviously your level 1 playthroughs, but. Doesn't hurt if you have low HP in general. thing is, once you have 5,000 to throw around on the Ritual Shield Talisman, you probably have enough HP that, you know, it's still a helpful talisman, but you might find something better to spend it on at that time, like a good weapon or smithing stones. So we're getting this sacred tree, and then we're turning around and hitting the, oh, sorry, three churches. Yeah, in this area. Almost forgot about the one on the hill. I was gonna go there just by habit, but almost kind of forget it. Memory stone. 
Those are okay, you know? Uh, it really depends on if you find a lot of stuff to synergize, like a magic build. I've found, though, that magic builds take longer, for sure, because you need more stats to really make them potent. Um, now, if you get something like Moonveil, which I'm not above using in a randomizer, um, obviously investing into magic is very useful at that point, but once you have Moonveil, you almost need, don't need to really worry about wasting time with spells. Like, they're helpful, but I wouldn't get too caught up because it can be hard to find a good spell. Like, a good FP efficient spell. Crimson bolts here. Interesting. So, I mean, we're actually getting... There's some sacred tears we're finding, which is good. And this is the FPS lag section for me, I think because there's so much shrubbery and bushes and stuff. Work back down. Once you break aggro. And I head along this way. I'm not really certain if this is... I mean, obviously... Oh. Oh, that got very close to hitting me. Now, I think that probably to make this route optimal, you would have to, uh... I'm not sure what the more optimal route is. If actual speedrunners, you know, when they, they play, if they go to the later game sections as quickly as possible, because there are, this is generally better loot. Um, but these are key locations you really don't want don't want to miss um, and they provide you with there's a lot of them all close together so it's just useful to get you know you can just go one one boom 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 and then you have a bunch of upgrades so provided you do run into trouble you can probably overcome it Good item, but Fulger one. All right, cool. Yeah. We're down to this church and this merchant, and then we've wrapped up here, and then we go into Kalid. Now the goal of going into Kalid is. Actually, we have, sorry, before we go into Kayla, we have two more spots I will we'll try and hit. Because we need to hit one more merchant in Limgrave. And then we need to hit um, There's a group of coffins I want to hit. Um, oh, hello. Not impressed, unfortunately. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it just because, especially in randomizer runs, I if I see a legendary item, I'm like, oh, that's exciting, I wanna go over to that. And then it's like, you know, just the same, you know, stuff from multiplayer items, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I don't need this grace. Um, I just want to eliminate that excitement. Let's see. What was this one? Strength Knot. I'm buying that immediately. Okay, maybe we are resting. Strength and faith. And so, what is this? This. Yeah, what is that? Crimson World is very niche. It's useful, but it's very niche. Um, so, merchants. Last merchant. 
an ungrave. Then we'll head. Uh, May I have a play on the wood? I'd heard tent upon the talk. The word was called for. I was entrusted by tolerance. Blah, blah, blah. Tis a summon them with it. Forgive my intrusion. Yeah. Um. Don't really know if I need this other stuff. No. I can run that. Oh my god, I have 51 boys. That is astounding. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, 51 poise, and we're 30 minutes in? That's not too bad. I mean, I just didn't know that you could really wear enough to have 51 poise necessarily this early in the game. Without using really light weapons. Finger Slayer, Rusty Key. I mean, the pots will be useful at a certain point, but none of this stuff is essential right now. I mean, the Omen Mask gives you an extra point in uh, strength, or extra two points, I think. Which is pretty useful. But I don't know if I need that right just this second. useful right now. Oh. Hi there. Commander Standard. Okay. Huh. I, uh... I can't wield it. We'll circle around to that. Oh. Oh my god. I'm glad I made it. That's a tight jump. I did not. I have a hard time making that jump. I'm not super great at handling torrent. I mean, it is keyboard and mouse. That doesn't really have anything to do with jump time or aim, but. Ooh. We're actually getting. I mean, we're getting good armor. We have good armor already, but. I can shuffle things around to wear the prior armor. I will. Uh, warp back down. It'll be faster. Yeah, I guess one. Riding through camp at all. Check that out. The reason why I choose Kaled too is because it's you have a couple trees. Uh, you have two merchants, and you can quickly warp to Radon when the time comes, uh, as well as Grail access, obviously, and the second half of the Dectus Medallion. I don't need this door, but I'm paranoid that something out there will kill me because, I mean, if you run across a lobster, then it's just game over in, in Dragon Barrow. I don't know what boss this is. Okay. Don't be with me for now. Oh, that was way worse, boys. So it looks like this is the best way to go for the poise I want. Somberstone Bell Bearing 1. Okay. I mean, I think we already have Somber 1 and 2, right? Because the bias, I believe, affects later game areas, Dragon Barrow and Kaled should, in theory, have better stuff than Limgrave. Um, I've never noticed it to be particularly exceptional. No, I don't think I've, like, found any... Yeah, the dragons don't really know how to handle this bridge if they're not the normal one. Uh, I find that it didn't even notice me, and I rode on top of it. I find that the ancient dragon lance uh, tends to 
do fine with it. Um, that bridge. Speaking of Grail, that's uh, on theme. Part two of why you come here is that it also gives you access to Roundtable. I don't know if Map Merchant technically counts as a key item location, but well, I guess I'm not killing that boss. I despise the Dragon King bosses. Personally. I feel like they're just kind of wonky with their hitbox. Uh, like you have to go for the legs. Basically. I don't know. I just don't really have a lot of fun with them. I mean, I didn't mind it the first one I came across, but it's definitely overleveled, and when you run into a high-leveled one on the randomizer, they can be very annoying. Because they are very tanky. But we're gonna try for this. We'll see how it goes. We might have to come back when we're a higher level. Number five, I'll take it. Oh yeah, we're not with that. Yet. Oh, that probably would have killed me. Uh, let's see if we survive this. Okay, we're going around table. Not because I want to, but because I wasn't sure if I would survive that. It if you have. It seems torrent. Whereas I'm there is, but I can take gathering. Very that my yeah, there's also the church here in Kaled. as well as the sacred tree in Celia. Just because it's nice. the dagger. So we have cold infusion access. Nothing super great, in all honesty. So, go back to Kaelid. Now I'm going to opt to go this way because there is... Um, I will descend down through the upper areas later. Uh, through the church and through Celia to get those items. Check those boxes. But the more important thing is just to get the, yes, three merchants. Because there's a dragon bear merchant, I forgot.
head down here because there's a handful of items as well. Hit the Dragon Bow Merchant. Go through Kayla to the other two merchants, get the golden tree by Radon, and then hit the other Celia spots. And then we should have a decent idea of if we want to level up this weapon or something else. I mean, I'm kind of content with this weapon. I mean, halberds are some of my favorites. I don't really know. I got the rotted battle axe and great stars, so we have good options. If we get a lion's claw, I am for sure going with uh, great stars. Oh. oh no. Nope. No oh, shit. Shaker? Okay. But yeah, you want to hit this merchant up here. Now, for whatever reason, the Caled merchant that only sells arrows seems to still usually only sell ammunition. I don't think I've ever once gotten something valuable from it, but that shouldn't necessarily be the case, so. I don't know what's going on with that. Nothing super great. I mean, not too expensive cookeries, which is nice. Take golden seeds for now. Head over yonder. Now I tend to recommend grabbing the graces along the way. In general. Because frequently you're not going to know what's around the corner, and so if you're just skipping graces and you get sniped, you might have to travel a long way again. Yeah, like for instance, you know, if I skipped that grace, I would have gone over there and there's a good chance I'm, there's a solid chance I'm going to die at trying to get some of these items. Yep. And there's purple, so it's not like I want to ignore them. Oh, hello. Oh boy. Oh wow, he really do be... Hey, that's my move. Oh, yes. Perfect. Now, if you have a source of rot, it is very nice. Um, I've, I mean, if, if anybody has watched some of my older videos, you'll know that I enjoy applying status effects. It's just fun to me. Um, but in particular, rot is pretty useful, and the scorpion Stinger is very useful for that. And it's probably the best item for applying rot. Um, just with the speed of its hits, I think it outpaces the rot per second. Is that just 50? Yeah, it definitely outpaces Ansper Rapier. And it's light. I love Ansper Rapier. My, it's more versatile as a weapon. Um, 
I'm gonna break my rule with this grace just because there's another one literally around the corner, but Let's see. I bet he has nothing useful. See, it's still mostly ammunition. I mean, he had a golden seed, so not completely useless, but... Oh. Yeah, don't want to forget what I just said. We're going to come over here to this merchant. And pray we can survive... Most of the time you can survive getting through this section, but sometimes there's some tough enemies. Not too bad. I mean, it's room bears, it's a pain. Uh, yeah, I want my boss is gonna be over here, because it's still nighttime. That is a death bird. I'm going this way. Is that a death bird? It is, yeah, okay. Okay, more golden seeds, that's good. God's can peel there, that's nice as well. It's standard damage, okay. It's like one, one type of damage, so. It really depends on if we have things that. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe one of the default settings has changed. I think it usually just kept the same music um, previously. It kept the same music. I just realized. Oh shit. DTS. I think the music settings might be changed, at least as a default thing. I think it used to keep the default music. And it doesn't anymore for bosses, but we'll test that when we get to merge it. Um, yes, okay, fair off. So we're just coming here for the golden seed and any quick items we can grab along the way. So far we got nothing really of use. Uh, well, nothing exceptional as far as like anything build defining. The ants, the well, scorpion stinger is pretty universal as far as builds go. Oh, no. no, 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 no. The range on that magic stuff is just insane. Okay, we can parry now. And technically, we could also do the Radon skip. I wonder if that would work. I mean, I don't know if it'll work with this weapon. Maybe with this. It worked. Got the Stake America. Now I do, I usually don't like to use summons, but I give myself a, uh, a pass when it comes to uh, the Radon fight, purely because Radon I mean, how often do you experience Radon's fight with summons? 
uh, well, a randomized fight with a different boss other than Redon with summons, I should say. The only boss that doesn't work out so far. What? Oh. Okay. Star Scourge dead around. Alright, cool. Um, this will be interesting. Not really expecting this to happen. And this is randomized music, so. Snake is confused. What? What? Is it actually? Oh, there it goes. I didn't really expect. I kind of forgot that I knew how to do this cheese. <laughs> didn't really factor that in. It's never been a part of my route before. Um. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little weird to see Rodan's arena in daytime. Um, but yeah, if you if you're curious how to do that, skip. I mean, hopefully it remains in the patch. If not, typically you just come here straight away as soon as you access. Um, as soon as you can access uh, Altus. Obviously, don't need to see all that. Curse Mark of Death, really only useful for Fortis Axe, who I believe does not have key items because he's missable. Uh, and with this, I think I'm probably going to pump this into. Mostly into vigor. Um, probably do a couple into endurance. Looks like we're doing strength for now. I'm gonna leave a little bit just so I have some money to spend. Um, I mean, this thing, the thing is, I, I know Serpent Hunter is super potent, but that's boring. Serpent Hunter is boring. Um, at least to me it is. I play... I use Serpent Hunter on a regular playthrough. Like, oh, let's do something different, right? Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's see, how are we doing Smith and Stone-wise? We got ones, we got no twos. Can we wear gloves? Oh, can we, can we hold that? No, we can't. Okay. Might have to sacrifice some poise. Do we want to use it? I don't think we need it right now. Uh, nope, not what we wanted. Oh, I thought that was 400 now. Oh, and. Uh, uh, so we're looking for twos. We need three, so perfect. Um, and then we have. Oh, that's the wrong one. Threes, we have one. I know that one of these merchants had. Threes. Not you. 
Oh wow, well, wait. Uh, maybe it's the main shop. No, oh, nobody had threes. I'm delusional. Oh, I didn't offer all the bell bearings. Maybe that's why. Aha. I'm not delusional. I'm surprised that worked out. I mean, I find that sometimes the bosses are a little bit easier just based on where they are progression-wise. Um, makes the game a wee bit easier uh, in some respects when it works out. But when your pathing gets bad... I don't have enough money. Okay, nice. So now we're gonna go check out Stormwell. Um, ideally, I tend to try and go through Stormvale instead of around it because. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily faster, but it seems to make sense to go through rather than around. There's two mage bosses here. Nile, my boy. Oh, yeah, I forgot this one. Yeah, obviously different music here, because this is the Godric music. I actually like Nile. He's a pain to no hit. Yeah, oh, what am I doing? I'm choking, but... Oh! I full on choked. I'll stand by it. I still like now. That was me being sloppy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I find him to be pretty fun. Nothing really super challenging. I mean, if anything, in no-hitting him, it just gets boring because he does the same two things. Basically, like you have specific opportunities to attack, and he, essentially, if you're just on point, he can't even hit you.
I always get a little thrown off by their the poise these guys have. Sure, if that's. Oh, hey. Not bury that? Oh man. There we go. <laughs> I'm not good at parrying, if I'm being real honest. But it's fun. So obviously, you'll want to go in through the front gate. Yeah, yeah, margin. But yeah, through the front gates. I hate how the default option is that. Oh. So, as we haven't ran into one yet, the birds are terrifying. And they don't deserve to live. Our birds and dogs. Wow, we're hitting the randomizer jackpot here. Now, normally, no need to ever grab that grace, but. Multiple types of birds, too. It's just. No. No. Leave me alone. No. No. Oh, oh boy. And archers. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, I should look where I go. I'm gonna grab this grace. Because it's just a pain to have to die to these things and go back. I'm gonna spend my money too, because I'm nervous. And I'll equip you. You seem like the most useful currently. You can kind of see how... Oh my, what? That's not normally there. Now there's a bunch of items typically here, but...
Not necessarily all of them are good. Oh wow. Oh. oh I was way too optimistic with that. Thanks, War Spear. Yeah, that may be, be a more fun version of Servant Hunter. It's really what I like about Serpent Hunter is the, the poise damage. Um, not actually going to go that way right now. Um, we'll go this way because... This way has a sacred tier. Or a tree seed. Uh, more of Millennia is close. She got naked for a uh, Godric here. What? Oh. And uh, I don't know if there's a way to do the smithing stones for summons necessarily, but. There's a way to do spithing stones for an equivalent for summons. I don't really use summons, but in the case of, you know, the non-amazing ones, um, Glove Wart's gonna be... I wish it looked at for something not too bad in Godric's Arena. But we have some pretty good equipment right now, and I think we're set pretty well, so. Hmm. Oh boy. My favorite. don't like Borgus Axe. I really don't like the Ancient Dragons in general. This is just Axe Exploded. Just because they tend to move around. Unlike mid -ear, they're Faces don't hang close to the ground, so I find it's more consistent to just go for their ankles. And this lightning thing that he has is just purely annoying. Uh, I was hoping he'd fall off the edge.
thing. I think he might actually be able to fall off the arena. Oh, see, like, the heads. Oh, shit. Huh. I mean, he's having a hard time hitting me in this arena, which is nice. What? And one day we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of cold. But yeah, I think I will wrap it here after checking out Gostock. Astounded, it did not. What happened? He got what would tell you though. He. Let's see what you got. Sorry, Gostok, you're dying. But yeah. So we might actually be able to get in to up the lift and not have to take uh, the Runestrin Precipice, although that is another key item location, so there's a good chance we'll go there anyway. But yeah, next time uh, we'll be tackling heading into Lyrnia, uh, specifically Loretta. Um, and if that doesn't pan out, then we will head up the Runestrin Precipice. Um, if we don't find the other objectives half. Um, this is the general game plan. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, uh, and uh, see you next time.